Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Hillary. I work at the Museum of Early Trades and Crafts in Madison, New Jersey. Since we can't do our spring break drop in crafts this week, we're giving you some different crafts each day that you can try out at home. We also have lots of other fun uh, games and crafts and activities on our website, metc.org in the METC at Home section. So today we're gonna to be making an adorable spring critter. So the supplies you'll need for this are a piece of paper. Cardstock's best if you have it, but if not, anything is fine. You want some markers, including a black one. You'll want a pair of scissors. Some pom-poms or cotton balls, whichever you have, probably about five or six if you have them. Some glue and maybe a pencil. Nothing too crazy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our leaf. So you can either draw your own on your piece of paper or we have on our website a leaf outline that you can print out, either one. Um, if you have some colored paper, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just color it in the color you want the way I did here. So once you've made your leaf, colored it in, you'll wanna cut it out. And then we might wanna add some veins, you know, to make it look like a real leaf here, those lines that leaves have. So I'm just gonna add a few veins here to make this look a little bit more like a real leaf here. You can do this however you want. Any sort of black marker will work. Just sort of alternating as we go along here. There we go. Looks a little bit more like a leaf now. So now we're ready to make our actual caterpillar. So you wanna kind of pull together the different pom-poms or cotton balls that you wanna use and lay them out the way you think you want your caterpillar to, uh, to sit on here. Oh, and also one other thing you can do if you want it to be a hungry caterpillar who's just taken a little nibble out of your leaf, you can take your pencil and just poke some little holes in your leaf, just like that. And now you have a little hole. It looks like you just chewed right through your leaf there. Okay, so now I'm laying out my caterpillar. And if you're using uh, cotton balls, you can certainly just color it with marker. Just take marker, color it in. Don't worry about the bottom, you won't really see the bottom too much once you put it onto your leaf. All right, laying this out. See how long I want my caterpillar here. Maybe you can curve around a little bit. Nice color pattern. And once I think I'm happy with how my uh, caterpillar is looking on my leaf, I'll wanna glue it on. Before I do that though, I'm gonna add my eyes. If you have googly eyes, you can add those. Otherwise, you can just draw your eyes on with a marker. But I'm gonna go ahead, just a little bit of glue on each of these googly eyes. And right on my head there. Just a little bit of glue. Okay, now I'm ready to glue the rest of the body together don't need too much glue for this. You'll just want to do some little drops of glue under each pom-pom or cotton ball where you laid it out. Just a little bit of glue for each one. Make sure to just pick it right up where you wanted it and put it right back down so it stays in the spot where you wanted it. They do have a tendency to fly all over sometimes. Uh oh, my head's falling all over. You may need a little bit of extra glue for the head if it's a little bit bigger. Glue them in place. And there you go. A nice little caterpillar is munching on my leaf. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll check back in all week long for our different crafts. And as I said, check out our website, metc.org and the METC at home section to see lots of other fun crafts and activities you can do while you're stuck at home.